was right about you! You're insane! You're my sister, and I do love you. What are you doing? What are you doing? No! 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 Only one more, baby. One more. I'm up! An unexpected new one brought record amounts of rape in the capital area. Called the flash flood normally arrived. Oh, great. Oh, hi. You finally woke up. Did you get enough sleep? <sighs> Morning to you, too, Mom. You know I've been planning this retreat for months. The least you could have done is gotten up early and helped me out around here. Calm down, Mom. What can I do? <laughs> Take over. I asked you to be grandfather's oh, yeah. so <laughs> What's up, Granddad? Ugh, nobody but cares Grandma, about me. Grandma, I tried to help. You don't know it's not it's your fault. Don't worry about it. Set away. I don't want eggs. Uh, Angie, you love eggs. Angie, I'm not eat hungry. it. What's up, turd burgers? Oh, great. Right. Unemployment check is late. Oh, uh, Joey, let me get my purse. I don't have time for this. The mail system sucks. Wow, be for breakfast again? What a surprise. What about, hey, well, with the two my favorite uncle. Not start Good morning, again. Uncle Joey. I don't have time for or, this. Or, hey, drop dead. You better dead. not argue all drop weekend. Dead. Fucking got oh, Jesus. Shit, man. Jesus, Joey, yeah, take it. You're a dick. You're you guys, dick. stop. Enough. Take this. You go over here. Get away. Asshole. Angie, go. Go to your room and eat your food there. Right now. You get away from me. You help me right now. Let's go. Now, Cameron, I need oh help Oh, my packing. God. Jeez, why am I getting yelled at? Uncle George is doing anything around here. What the hell is this problem? Language, Cameron. I don't know why Nadie lets him live here. For the same reason she lets us live here. We're family. You can't pick your family, honey. Eliza! One minute, Mom. Eliza, I can't find my pill. <gasps> Will you please help me finish packing and get my sleeping bag from the cellar? Come here. Mm. I love, love you. you. We'll be back after a few more spots. I'm working on it. Why doesn't Grandma like Mom? Hey, Grandma loves Mom. She just doesn't want you around her when she's sick. I made a painting for Mom. Where's the baby going? It's Jamie. I'm trying to grab his hand to stop him from going to heaven. Do you remember your twin brother? Only in pictures. Well, it's beautiful, and your mom's gonna love it. <laughs> For the last time, I don't want Angie around her. Move. Mom, she has the right to see her real mother. Actually, she doesn't, all right? The courts decided that when her mother overdosed. Or did you forget your sister's an addict? Did you forget you're an alcoholic? Cameron, I've been sober for 12 years. Yeah, well, Mom, when you were getting sober, you still had the right to see us. Cameron, I was drinking. Caitlin's a junkie. So those mistakes make her less fit to be a mom than you? <sighs> oh, that's it. Move. This discussion is over. Yikes. Someone's cranky. Cameron, listen, I pray for Caitlin. I do. But I lost one grandchild because of her, and I'm not going to lose another, OK? So that's it? That's it. Now listen, Uncle Joey said that he'd help with Angie, 
All right, so no fighting. Uh, Promise? You trust douchebag Uncle Joey with Angie, but not Caitlin? Stop it! And Aunt Jean's gonna come this weekend, check in, all right? What, am I five? No, you're not five. But Nanny would like to see her other daughter once in a while, okay? <sighs> Besides, it'll give you the night off, okay? You worry too much. I worry too much. Come here, give me a hug. I'm an expert at it. I'll miss you, be good. Yeah, I won't burn down the house or kill anybody or anything, so. I love you. Sure. I love you too, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Angie? Come find me, Uncle Cameron. Angie. Hey, let me out! Give me one good reason to let you out. Pretty soon you're gonna need a new hiding spot. When you go to college, who's gonna come find me here? Hmm. Looks like I'm not going to college. Are you ready to go see Mama? But Grandma said we can't go. Well, guess what? I'm in charge now, and I say it's okay. But if you say one word, little lady, go get your jacket. Okay. Where are you taking her? Taking her to the zoo. So, tell me, how did you convince Mom to let you come here today? Well, Grandma doesn't know about this little adventure, so keep the secrets, right, Angie? Mm-hmm. Mm, disobeying Mom, I approve. Well, she will kill me if she finds out, so not a peep. How you doing? Yeah. I'm good. Um, staying clean, trying to just Stay on track and keep going to work. For you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over there? There's been awful fights all week. It's just been terrible. Did you call the cops? <laughs> In this neighborhood, there's, there's really no point. Around here, it's better to mind your own business. <laughs>
What's wrong with her? She, she'll be okay. What about the baby? Was, was there not a baby? Listen, let's let the cops deal with this one. I called Dr. Mendez. He said he can come to the house in, in about an hour. What if she caught whatever that baby had? You better get out of here. Just call me, okay? As soon as I figure things out. All right, take her. Come on, take me. Bye, guys. Jesus, Nanny! Oh my God! <coughs> Where's your mother? <clears throat> Nanny, she went on a retreat. You know that. Let me help you. You comfy? <clears throat> oh, not the comforter. It's too hot. Need anything else? I want a good night kiss from Angie. She's she's sick. She's already in bed. Oh. Poor thing. She's so sweet. Hand me my book, honey. Good night, Nanny. Take care of Angie, Cam. to chill. It's probably just a little cold or something. <clears throat> you weren't there. I'm telling you. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> you sound like your mom. Mm. <sighs> Shoot me now, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I swear, I, I heard something coming up, like, from under the bed. Like, weird breathing. Oh. Weird breathing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. It's funny. It's not. It's kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, that's what you get for smoking this. <laughs> you get this stuff anyway. My Uncle Joey's stash. Creepy Uncle Joey? No wonder yeah. it tastes so cheap.
You know, <laughs> this is kind of creepy to do with your sister and Angie watching. <laughs> Have you given any more thought to going to college with me after summer? Been a bit preoccupied around here. God. You're making excuses again. Look, I told you I'd think about it. This is our future, Cameron. I know, Megan. You graduated a year ago. You want to end up like your uncle or your mom? Come on, how long are you going to wait to start your own life? to be in bed. I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> Angie, come on, get out of there. Caitlin, something isn't right. You should have seen the look in Angie's eyes. Do you have any idea how insane that sounds? I mean, seriously, you probably just smoked something that you shouldn't have. But can we talk about your hallucinations later, please? Angie's gonna be just fine. The doctor said that. I just need you to watch her, okay? Love you. See you later. Let yourself out. I know you're in there. Go away. Come on. I, I gotta talk to you. Please. It's my niece. I have nothing to say to you. No. Help me. Please. Listen. Whatever the reason is you hate me, don't take it out on my niece. She's just a little girl. All you need to know is in here. Who are these people? They were chosen so that a child could be saved. Their deaths were wasted. They always are. She dares you to try, but she knows you will fail. Who are you talking about? She's the child stealer. Her name is Lilith. She was Adam's first wife. What do you mean? Adam and Eve? Adam? Banished from the Garden of Eden after refusing subservience to Adam as God commanded, Lilith was punished. Her mouth was sealed. Her womb was cursed. She could never bear children. Lilith became a creature of darkness, making a pact with Lucifer to grant her unholy powers to steal the offspring of Adam and Eve and make them her own children forever. What you're telling me is Lilith 
Has Angie? No. Not yet. There's still time to save her. I should go. The cost of a soul, Angie's soul, comes at a price. Okay. Obviously, you've been through a lot of... Sacrifice. That's the only way. You need to offer six other lives to Lilith in little Angie's place. Six lives from her bloodline, from your family. What do you want me to do? Are you expecting me to kill them? No. You... mark them. Lilith does the taking. You have six days to mark six members of the bloodline. And if you fail, and you will be gone. Where's your baby? I almost saved him. And then you showed up. You let my ex-husband escape. Okay. He would have been the last. Okay, okay. I wish he were dead, and not my boy. But this is fucked up. But I can't stand the thought of that little girl going through the same thing. I spent three days trying to understand this. I wasted time on doctors, PIs, paranormal experts. Everything I could think of to save my baby. Three of my six days, and now he is gone. You don't have time. You need help. I'm not the one who needs help right now. If I were to choose six people, how, how would I choose them? The first one is unbearable. And then it gets harder. My sweet Angie. Nanny's here. Nanny! <gasps> Nanny? <gasps> Nanny?
Grandpa. Are you okay? You're okay. Yeah, Mom, I'm, I'm here. No, no, no. Uh, no, Angie's just running a fever. It's nothing too serious. Yes, Mom, I called Dr. Mendez. She's in bed already. She took her pill. Okay, thank you, Mom. Thank you. I gotta go. Okay, so what does this book mean? And where is Nanny, Cameron? Why won't you believe me? You need to trust me on this one. <laughs> okay, so Lilith is a demon and you sacrificed Nanny to her. <laughs> Although that bitch probably deserves it. I mean, come on, Cameron. I'm not lying, Galen. Okay. anything. What we need is five more people, and we only have four days to go. What are you gonna do? Well, I can't do this alone. Okay, well, how do we choose? It has to be from our bloodline. Well, who's gonna be next? Boom! <laughs> like a little girl! Pussy! That was awesome.
What are you doing, dumbass? Uh, I'm grabbing this aspirin for Angie. Yeah. Whatever, man, just take it. you to know uh i hope angie's okay i checked on her earlier she didn't look too good you, you checked on her yeah man yeah i do care okay it's kind of hard to tell i mean we are family right yeah yeah we, i guess we are y yeah we are you, you check on nanny on Gene just picked her up. Without Dad? Well, yeah, they just went to dinner, so she said she'd be back soon. Uh, whatever. Shut the door for me, will you? Yeah. Hey, beautiful. Meg, where did you come from? I missed you. Mm, I miss you too. Mm -hmm. Why are you sleeping? I'm so tired. It's been such a long week. Mm. But you don't have time to sleep. Wake up! Hey, it's time. Come on. How do we do this? You don't need to stay here for this. No, uh, I need to see this. Caitlin, I'm gonna take care of this. Go.
Sorry, I, c I couldn't. Hold still. He was just lying there and he just woke up. You still had time to make the symbol. He was awake, Caitlin. We don't have time to wait for natural causes. I don't know what you don't understand about that. I don't see you volunteering to cut your finger and eternally damn your family members. Look, I'm not gonna lose Angie, Cam. Since when do you care about Angie? Or didn't you think I would notice? I'm gonna go. Caitlin, don't run away from this. Caitlin! Wait, I forgot that it's not your fault. But you know what? It is, okay? You have a daughter who loves you and adores you. When Angie needs you the most, you're walking out. You know, maybe mom was right. Maybe you don't deserve Angie. Hey, you know what? Maybe I'm a fuck up, okay? But you are the one that brought this thing on Angie. You are the one who put her life in danger and you are the one who's gonna take care of it. Hey, Megan. You're pregnant? That's your reaction? It's been a fucked up week. I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but we have some decisions here. I can't do this right now, Megan. What could be more important than this? Look, I know you don't want to sacrifice your life for a kid. And you told me you were on the pill. I am. It doesn't always work. Can we have to make a choice? It's life and death. It's not an easy choice. Yeah, well, I want to keep it. I can't do this right now. I just need some time. Fine. You know, take all the time you want. It's not like we're on a clock. Jesus, Kate. Sharp today, Grandpa. Granddad, you must be wondering where Nanny is. I miss you, Grandpa. I really wish you were here to help me. What? Can I help you? No. But I can help you, Cameron. May I come in?
Lilith, she's here. What do you know about Lilith? She took my little girl. A long time ago. Did you sacrifice anyone? No. I went through six days of hell not knowing. I had a way, a chance. Lilith haunting me, mocking me the whole time. That's what she does. She took Rebecca. Then I became a nun. How'd, how'd you find us? The book. The book Sabrina gave you, I wrote it. I've been tracking her for years. Helping anyone I can. Trying to find a way to banish the unholy beast back to hell. Have you managed to offer her anyone? My nanny. My, my grandmother. She fell. So she was pretty much already dying when I found her. You got lucky. Or maybe you do have some stones after all. But three days down, you're gonna have to push harder. A nun is encouraging me to kill my own family? All of us are marked by years, by bad habits, mediocre destinies written into our petty lives. But the children, they are tabula rasa. An empty slate. Greatness can be written there. There's no worse sin than letting a pure soul be a servant to that slut in hell. That still makes me a killer. And Jean. Randy. Hi. Hi. I thought you guys were coming tomorrow. Hosting a women's luncheon last minute now tomorrow. So, as promised your mother, I'm checking in. Is uh, this a bad time? No, no. Well, maybe, maybe a little bit. Where's your grandmother? Upstairs? She's out. Out? Where'd she go? Doctors. <clears throat> yeah, they, she, they said she was gonna be a while, so I just came back home. Not gonna ask about my brother, but what about little Angie? She's sick, and she's in bed. Oh, I hope I don't catch whatever it is she has. It's just the cold. I am so susceptible to colds. It's true. Well, I guess we'll just wait here until it's time to go pick your grandmother up, and then we'll get her with you. Would you guys like something to drink? A drink would be nice. Orange juice, some warm milk. <laughs> well, I don't suppose Eliza keeps alcohol in the house anymore. Uncle Joey has beer. Shocking. Whatever. Be right back. So how hard does it blow to live here? It's got this kind of like antique shithole vibe about it. If your mom would have married into money like mine did, you might be better off, but my mom's a total MILF, so. I don't want to think of Angie like that. Oh, come on, your mom's totally doable. You know, in that born again Christian kind of way. That is fucked up. Yeah. Yes. So, it must be tough getting laid living in your grandma's house. Well, I have a girlfriend, so not really. You're straight? Hmm. <sighs> so, uh, what happened to your finger? I was... I was cutting up ecstasy. I was at a party. 
you know, and the razor slipped. <laughs> what a noob. Have any extra? I'll buy it off you. Yeah, give me a minute. Nice. your drugs in Angie's room? That's genius. I'll call you back. Randy? Cameron? douche, but it's just so convenient you came with Aunt Jean. You know, opportunities knock and whatnot, so. both of you. Guys? I swear to God, guys, one more time and I'm gonna kill you! Jesus Christ, Karen, are you trying to give me a heart attack? Mm -hmm.
right here. Anjean's dead. Caitlin, I can't do this alone. You're not alone. You're not, uh... Randy's tied up in the cellar. What? It didn't work. She didn't take him. I should start figuring out how to do Uncle Joey. Don't do anything else, all right? Just wait till I get there. I'm, uh... I gotta meet with my parole officer, though, real quick. So let me let me do that, and and uh, and then I'll come. All right. You're tired, Rams, aren't you? You'll be with Nanny. You'll be happier. Jesus, what am I doing? You're doing what's necessary to save Angie. Your guilt is the only thing that's stopping you from saving her. He'll understand, you know. This shitty life he has is no life at all. I, I can't. You have to. That's easy for you to say. You don't have to choose six people over one little girl. Don't ever tell me what I would or would not do to save my Rebecca. Lilith is a devil's whore! And you're a fool. A fool who's squandering the only chance you're ever gonna get. There is no good option here. Even God knows what you have to do. Your life as you know it is over. There's no going back. So snap out of it, grow some balls, and do what you have to do! Look, I know he's old and sick and probably doesn't have much time left, but he's still a good man. A good man. Wake up. <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't bother screaming, nobody's here. Here, I brought you this. It's a protein shake. Drink up. Fuck you. Drink. Look, man, what you saw upstairs was a demon taking your mom. And I know you won't be able to understand this, but I had to do it to save Angie. No, man, I, I totally understand. If you, uh... If you let me go, I can help. Sorry, can't do that. Come on, Cam, man. I'm getting dizzy over here. I feel fuzzy. I think I need to see a doctor. Well, I can't. People are gonna come looking for me, you crazy fuck! All right, and my mom, she's important. She's got stuff going on, like, every minute. You don't think people are gonna notice? You never shut up, do you? Angie, Angie, you're up? Angie. Angie, what are you doing?
I, I didn't know you were home. How's she doing? Better? Good. Uh, can I go see her? You know, I just put her to bed, so we should, probably shouldn't just wake her up. Okay. I'm gonna go check on Grandpa. I didn't think you cared. Well, that much, I mean. Well, with your mom and Granny out of town, it's probably pretty lonely. Well, Nanny will be back from Aunt Jean's tomorrow. It's funny, I called Aunt Jean. Nothing. You know Aunt Jean. <laughs> <laughs> She's a waspy bitch, isn't she? <laughs> oh. Are you good? Uh, bet gone bad. <sighs> Looks like it. Yeah. Help me put things in perspective, though. You know I care about you, right, Cam? And your family it means something. I just wanted you to know that. Yeah. Grandma Molly? Yes. This is insane. We can't just page through our family photo albums and figure out who should die. This is the... Okay, well, that's exactly what we're doing. What about Granddad? Okay, look. Granddad's gonna be a natural choice, but he has to go after Uncle Joey, or else Uncle Joey's gonna be way too suspicious, and I'm running out of excuses on why people aren't around anymore. I really don't think you need to worry about Uncle Joey. I don't think he's gonna notice or care. That's the thing. I don't know what's been going on lately, but he's a lot more, I don't know, like human than before. Which is kind of messed up, because it should be a lot easier if I still thought he was a useless asshole. Okay, so <laughs> we choose douchebag Uncle Joey and Granddad. That's four, though. Make a suggestion, okay? That's exactly what we're doing. We judge, and then we get to pick who lives and who dies to save Angie. Okay, what about Dad? He has a new life and new children and shit. Okay, yeah, Dad's already on the list, but he's out of town and I don't have time to track him down. Okay, what about his kids? They're blood related to Angie. Caitlin, I'm not... I'm not killing kids. There's, there's no way. Then who are the last two, Cameron? Shit, Randy. What the hell, man? Like he thinks that Angie's gonna be taken by some demon. Kill mom. He's trying to kill me. The hell are you talking kill me about? Out! Cam. Randy. Hey! Oh my god! 
can't just leave him uh, tied up down here. Okay, well, we are, until this is all over. He almost got away already. I deserve that. <laughs> Cameron, I have a really <clears throat> big problem with this. Kaylin, I'm doing what I have to do to save your daughter, so shut up! Cameron, honey, I'm home! <clears throat> shut up. Hello? Where is everybody, Mom? Hello? Joey? Great. Mom. Hey. You're home early. Wait, what is this? You're bleeding. No, Cameron. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. No, like... come here. What are you doing? Let come here. Oh. Cameron. What? Honey, what's the matter? What's wrong? If you had to choose between Angie and Caitlin, one of them had to die. Who would you choose? What kind of question is that? Mom, answer me. <gasps> Caitlin. Something wrong with Angie? Uh, this sounds crazy, Cameron. I don't understand any of this. What's going on? Where's Nanny? Where's Uncle Joey? What, what have you been doing? What's, what's happening? Mom, listen to me. There's no time. I made some awful choices, but it's because I had to. This is all to save Angie. Wait, what choices are you talking about? What have you done? Save Angie from what, Cameron? Come Ow, here. Cameron. Ow, Cameron, Come let on. go of me. Cameron. Stop this! If you think none of this is true, and I'm crazy, there should be no problem with Granddad's in it, right? What is he doing? Calm what are you doing? Calm down. Daddy, what are you doing? I fucked up. Just do it. Stop it! Cameron, what are you doing? Stop it! None of you done! Oh my god! Daddy needs you. Hold her! No! Let go of me! What are you doing? Stop. 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 Let go of me! No! Stop! Save her!
the devil has come to this house. This is my fault. I knew that I'd be called to the gates of hell one day for what I did. What are you talking about? When the twins were born, Jamie came out with all those problems. He was so sick. If he had lived, it would have been a life of illness and hospitals. Mom. He went so peacefully. What did you do to Jamie? I took his frail little life away with these evil hands. You killed my baby? My God, Caitlin, I'm so sorry. Get away from me. Get away from me. For three years, you've had Angie because I was called an unfit mother. You don't understand. You were getting you were getting so high when you were pregnant. And you kicked me out of my home and you wouldn't call me. You took my children and you killed my Jamie. You, you know, you, you say that you love God and you preach all this bullshit. But you're just a murderer, you self-righteous bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> I made the wrong choice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That wasn't your choice to make. <laughs> Caitlin, no. I'm sorry. No. Caitlin? Wildcats and hyenas will meet there, and billy goats call to each other. Lilith the night monster will lurk there and find herself a place to rest. <gasps> Angie, Angie, stop. Angie, no. <clears throat> Nanny gave this to me. I want you to have it. Caitlin. I know there's no way you're ever gonna forgive me. And I, Lord knows there's nothing I can do to make it right, but there's something I can do for Angie. Mom, there's one more thing. What? Randy's tied up in the cellar. What? Why? Tried the symbol on him. It didn't work. Cam, baby. <laughs> Randy's adopted. Oh, shit. Stay here. We gotta go right now. You 
promise me you'll finish what you started, okay? Promise. Promise. I love you so much, Cameron. I want you to know I always loved you. Take care of Angie. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. sacrifice. Hi, Caitlin. Long hey. time. Come in. Where's Cameron? Over here. Oh my god, Angie. Cameron, what happened to you? I need something from you. You were right. I want to be a good father. And I don't want to keep this baby. What are you doing? Shh. It's okay. Cam, you're scared. What? Caitlin! What the fuck? Guys! Sit down, Caitlin. Cameron! Cameron. Just sit down. Get her off of me! Do it! What the hell is going on? Let me go! You're a murderer. Well, maybe you should take some responsibility. She deserves better. Well, I can take care of Angie better than any murderer. You can't even take care of yourself. What are you going to do for her, huh? You're going to be put away. What are you going to do for her? They'll find her a decent home. One with mom who isn't shooting up. No. We might as well just let her get taken then. Because I'm not leaving her with you. What makes you think that you deserve to live and she deserves to die? I'm still here, and I have a right to fight for my life. Then fight for it! Mama? Angie? Honey? Are you okay? I don't feel good, Mommy. <laughs> Here. 
help me draw the symbol on myself. There's no time. Come over here. Help me draw the symbol on myself. Promise me. Promise me that when they come, you blame it all on me. Tell them it was all my fault. I just went crazy and you don't know where I went. Tell them I made you do this. Tell me. Promise me, Caitlin. Caitlin, I promise. Police, what's going on in there? <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell, bitch. Ready to go, sweetie? Let's go. I ever wrote. Now I'm playing, but my eyes are getting hella low. I've been smoking hella dope. Life has been incredible. Traveling around the country doing things unforgettable. When it, when it comes down to it, shit, I'm still a kid. Younger brother, older sister, I was just the middle kid. The middle child. But I had a little style. My friends told me I had something special, so I spit a while. Spit a couple verses for my fans. Spit a couple verses for my fans. Spit a couple verses for the ones that knew for certain that if I continue working, the dream would become a plan. Ne ne never seems real till it hits home. And I've been on the road, so I've been gone. I remember coming home from school and getting lifted while I searched the internet for any beats that I could spit on. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's wrong. All I know is nothing's promised till one day it all be gone. While I'm here, I wanna live my life for what it's worth Some days good and some days bad Cause that's just how it is on earth So a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of rain Yeah A little bit of sunshine, a little bit of rain 